Cambridge and Meta researchers have confirmed that retinal resolution is far higher than the previously assumed 60 PPD. So we're talking about VR headsets here, and in case you're unfamiliar or haven't heard about it, one of the ways we measure resolution is PPD, or how many pixels occupy each degree of a field of view, or pixels per degree. So for example, if two displays for two headsets have the exact same panels, but one of them has a field of view that's twice as wide, it's only going to have half half of the angular resolution. So the first Oculus launched with about 6 PPD. Most of them now are about 25. Higher end ones like the Apple Vision Pro can get you to 35. And there's prototypes out there that can get you up to 51 or 60. Previous science indicated that 60 PPD was the human limit for being able to determine resolution. But scientists at Meta and Cambridge came up with this ingenious study where they put a 4K monitor on a 1.6 motorized sliding rail and showed these very interesting zigzag line patterns that you can see here on the side in different colors in order to determine what resolution or PPD people could actually see. And we're going to go ahead and skip straight to the results of this research. They're a little bit complicated to understand in this graph, but the short version is that the average participant could discern up to 94 PPD on grayscale 89 for red-green patterns, and 53 for yellow-violet patterns. So basically everything except the yellow-violet spectrum was significantly above the industry standard previous assumption of 60 PPD maximum. And one participant in the study was able to reach 120 PPD, which is literally double the previous theoretical threshold for human beings. What this means is that fundamentally we have underestimated the human eye's ability to discern resolution in VR headsets, and the industry standard is not even a third of what the human eye is actually capable of seeing.